The hit TV show Yellowstone seems to have rekindled America's fascination with cowboys. More than 9 million people just watched the season four finale. That's 80% more than watched season three, and it doesn't include the viewers that are still streaming it. A lot of you at home probably have plans to catch up on it this weekend. And if it's the Wild West you're into, we have an even better option. Joining us now is Anthony Lucci, a professional rodeo announcer here for this weekend. Cinch, world's toughest rodeo. Anthony, what makes this one the world's toughest? And when it comes down to it, it's professional rodeo at its best. We've got the best bareback riders, the best saddle bronc riders, the best bull riders. And when it, after the entire event is said and done, after 12 going each event, we bring back the top two in each of their respective events to compete in the Pendleton Whiskey Showdown bonus round. And that's what makes it the world's toughest because to win this event, it's not just riding one head, it's riding two head and not just any bucking horses or bucking bulls. Some of the best bucking bulls in the entire country are right here in Des Moines inside of Wells Fargo Arena. Then on top of all that, it's the world's toughest, but I think it should be called the world's funnest because we've got some of the best entertainers in professional rodeo, John Harrison, Ryder Kisner, world champion trick roper, as well, of course, the ladies in the barrel racing. And I know the barrel racers get a bad rap on Yellowstone, <laughs> but they get a good rap here. And of course the kids get involved in the mud busting. So it's a, it's a good time for everybody. I mean, it's such a tiny, tiny fraction of people who ever attempt to do anything like this what caliber of cowboy are we going to see out there this weekend? I mean, when it comes down to it, from the bareback riding, you're going to see world champions, national finals, rodeo qualifiers. So when we say that, what that means is that they went to the Super Bowl. And to put it into layman's words, they went to the World Series. They went to the Super Bowl on multiple occasions of professional rodeo. And when you have that kind of talent come into Wells Fargo, especially with this atmosphere, I mean, you've, everybody's been inside of this building. You know the electricity within this building. And then you put in the dirt, you bring in the best stock and the talented, talented cowboys and cowgirls that we're going to see. It's a, you're, it's an inevitable rock and roll rodeo show. You, you at home haven't heard this yet, but Anthony's taking credit for our temperature increase says he brought it up from Texas, but really the, <laughs> the temperature is increasing enough for people to finally get out of the house. You got to be expecting a big crowd this weekend when people finally leave their homes. Yeah, we really are, and, and the ticket sales are at a record pace right now. And, of course, we have a performance tonight. It starts at 7.30. Still time to get out here. Obviously, the pre-show is a huge, huge opportunity to have a ton of fun. starts at 6 o'clock. You can come down into the arena. We actually have bulls that you can take your picture on while sitting on. There's pony rides for the kids. You can meet our great athletes. And then, of course, tomorrow we do the same thing, brand-new set of competitors. You can actually come both nights. If it was me, that's, well, that's what I am going to do. Not if I was going to do that, <laughs> yeah. but I am going to do that because I'm here and I can't wait to talk about all the, the Cowboys and Cowgirls and, and talk to these amazing Iowa fans. It's been a while since I've been here and I sure am excited to bring it to you. You got it. Your, your weekend's spoken for. We got HiveyTix.com. Can people just show up there at the arena and, and still snag a ticket? I believe so. They can come up to the gate. They can buy the ticket booth. Um, the website is the easiest and the best way to do it. And uh, like I said, we're going to get it started at 730 with all the action. But if you're coming tonight, you want to get here early and experience that cinch pro rodeo fan zone inside the arena. Because it's not very often that you get to walk on the ice or step on the football field or step on the hardwood. But at Rodeo and the Central World's Toughest Rodeo, we give you that opportunity. That is fun. If you're just joining us, you're listening to Anthony Lucha. He's the, uh, the rodeo announcer for this weekend's Cinch World's Toughest Rodeo at Wells Fargo Arena. We confirmed he does watch Yellowstone. He's a big fan <laughs> of the show. I got a question. Uh, do Cowboys watch it, and how accurate is it? It's just tricky. So, yes, Cowboys watch it. Some of them won't admit to it because it's like a, it's a cowboy soap opera. But Yellowstone, in my, and I'll just give you my take on it, because I can't speak for everybody else. Yes, there are some inaccuracies, and yes, there are some embellishments and and how things are done. You know, I, I, and at least in my nature and in my life, I've never seen the mafioso type of ranches like the Dutton Ranch and the Yellowstone is run. But in in my home country of Texas, I mean, it's all about family. It's all about family. It's all about a love for the animals that we care for, whether it's horses, cows, and everywhere in between. And, and that's what rodeo is. Being a cowboy means about representing something and standing up for something and staying true to what you believe in. And John Dutton might take that to an extreme and, and rip his 
his number one henchman might take it to an extreme at points. But I think at the core, Taylor Sheridan, who actually just moved to my hometown of Weatherford, Texas, um, I think what he's trying to convey to everyone is, is the original superhero. If you think about it, Cowboys have been a standard of the West for the last 200 years. Cowboys were the rough and tough, the grittiest of them all who settled and founded the land. You know, 1883 has taken a look at that in that show as well and going back even further. And so, you know, it's done so much by opening so many people's eyes to something I've known my whole life and the Cowboys are cool and wearing a Cowboy hat's cool and, and being riding a horse all day and being involved in the sport where it's man against beast and then caring for the animals that we love so much and be able to allow them to showcase their talents. You know, it's just something special to be a part of. You're giving me goosebumps knowing that we also, along with that, have the toughest Cowboys in the entire world right up the street <laughs> at Wells Fargo Arena this weekend. Anthony Lucha, uh, thanks so much for being on the program. Thank you, you guys. Down to the arena, get tickets if you want. We're right back with more world and national news right after this.